The dehaze slider in the effects panel allows you to cut through haze or fog and bring out some of the contrast in those areas. You can also add haze as well. But one thing about this slider is you have to be really careful that you don't push it very far. I'll use this photo as an example. If I move the slider to the right, it's starting to add some really nice contrast. The slider is set to 28, and that's a pretty good number. But if I keep going, and let's say I were to even go even further, and I'm not even at 100% yet, and I'm losing a lot of detail, it's adding way too much contrast, it's kind of adding some really funky things to the color, and it's just not a very good look. So I'm more likely to keep this in the 20, I probably wouldn't go any higher than 30 on most of my photos here. Let me toggle that on and off so you can see the result of that dehaze. Now moving the slider in the opposite direction uh, is gonna kind of be a little bit more stylistic. I've been kind of racking my brain with trying to figure out reasons you would want to actually move the slider to the left, and let me show you what happens when you do. It, it just starts to really remove the contrast and the color, um, and depending on the photo, it might, go, it might even go completely white. But one thing that it can do is it can allow you to kind of add that faded look to a photo. So I have the setting set to minus 22, and if I toggle it on and off, I'm giving this image a little bit of kind of a faded matte look without even having to use the tone curve panel. But if you can see, as I move this, and I'll kind of go back and forth here, as I move it to the right, it's, it's adding contrast, but it's also adding some saturation. And the same goes in reverse if I move it to the left. It's removing some of the saturation, but it's also removing, obviously, the, um, the contrast as well. And so when I moved this photo to the left, it added a little bit of green, or maybe it just took away some of the existing magenta or reds in the image. So I'd probably have to go back up to another panel to kind of fix this a little bit. So in this case, I'd go up to the basic panel and maybe move the uh, tint slider to the right a little bit. So playing with that dehaze slider is, is another way to either fix or stylize a photograph to your liking.